Three, Oliver Miwo. Knocked out four of his last five opponents, returns to the ring after his only defeat. He was outpointed by Daniel Perret. Takes on Hungary's Norbert Salai. Lost his last fight on points. He is game. He's won nearly half his professional fights. We can join this one from the start. Second up. Here's the returning heavyweight, Larry Olabamiwo, in the red trunks. Huge, broad, powerful. But disappointed last time when he lost his unbeaten record. Time to get back to business. Olabamiwo in with Norbert Salai from Hungary. This might be fiery. The uh, Hackney Heavy can really hit Jim. Yeah, and he's obviously learned a, a big lesson last time out not to come into the boxing ring unless you're in good shape. So uh, Salai tried to get right down to business. He looks a little bit clumsy, but looks prepared to give it a go as he's doing now. So as long as it lasts, this could be lively. Your yeah, arm punches there really from Salai, who's won nine of 20. Olabamiwo, four straight knockout wins and then a loss on points to Daniel Perret, which was disappointing and that wasn't. To lie down inside the opening minute, and the sheer weight of Olabamiwo's punch. Those were good punches from Olabamiwo. You could see the way he spread his legs, just bent his knees and thumped him in the body shots. I think troubled Salai, but those really were good shots. He's, he leaves his chin unguarded there uh, as he comes forward, but I don't think he has to worry too much about defence at the moment. Salai's lost six times inside the first round, so Alabamiwo will go for it here and down again. Falls on his side. And there may not be much more in the resistance of the Hungarian. The count's at eight, he's almost, and it's over. Correctly by Marcus McDonnell. And Larry Alabamiwo does come back with a quick win. Pretty much, Jim, as expected. Yeah, of course. I think it was the, the, the punches that caused the, the first knockdown really did the damage. I think that knocked the stuffing out of Salai. I think he knew there that he couldn't handle the power. He was here to do a job, give it a go, earn himself a few quid. And <laughs> I think after one knockdown, he decided he had done that. He was pretty negative from that point on. But yeah, that was impressive uh, from all about me. Whoa. The punching was good. Picked them well. Long way to go. But he's powerful, he's fairly mobile, and a uh, bright future ahead, I would like to think. He's good to watch as well, he wants to get on with the job. Yep, yeah, an awful lot of rough edges, we didn't see a lot of them uh, in this one, obviously. But a uh, long way to go, big job to be done with him, but loads of potential. And you can see the leverage he's getting into these punches. You know, just dips the knees, spreads the legs a little bit and thumps them in. OK, most of them or at least partially, partially blocked. But by that time, Salai, I think, uh, knew he was on his way out. So it wasn't difficult to finish him off. And the time he took to come back up off the floor, convinced the referee that he had enough. And I think it was a good shout to get him out of there. Another quick win for Larry Olabamiwo.